going. Well, now you're fishing today, guys. Ooh it has been a minute since I've felt the warm sun on my skin. So this is absolutely incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. There's no wind. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous summer day. So I thought I got a few hours here till sunset. I'm going to go magnet fishing while I wait for my buddy Beans to get done with work. Get our first throw out. Again, guys, create us magnetics. Use code. Badger 12 for 12% off at checkout if you want to get your own. Let's get it. Gotta love that. It is so incredibly clear for what exact, for like what this normally this spot is. What's up, Black Dog? What's well, up, dude? Hey, hit me up if you're free this week, brother. I don't know if you have my number or not, but if you do, hit me up and the uh, Let's link up a magnet fish, man, before Friday. Oh, okay, guys. First throw, first things. Here we go. Let's see what we got, guys. Alrighty. Big old circle gang. And, uh, yeah, some circle. A little, little I don't know, bolt. Not bad. I bet, yeah, it's a shoot me a text then, Biff Black Dog. See if we can't link up. I, I currently don't have transportation just because our, uh, I mean, I, I have a car still, it's just not here with uh, where me and Danny are located. We're just stranded without a vehicle. Unfortunately, our ABS system on the Dipmobile uh, conked out. And yesterday we were going 70 miles an hour on our way back to Indiana. And once you know it, the, uh, the van went freaking sideways, just like, and we uh, had to basically crawl back the last hour at 20 miles an hour. So that was fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, we got, a, oh, this is awesome. We got literally double military. Oh yes, we got two 20 mil. Right on guys, look at that. Heck yeah, two 20 mils training rounds oh man i'm alive let's go guys ah, sweet let's see what else this magnet has that is awesome set those aside and got a little top of like a spray can Ooh. and we got some type of little military like button that's cool. I'm gonna try to clean that button up for us. It's like a, I think it's a button. Or maybe it's like a tab to like a tarp, I'm not sure. But thanks Black Dog, dude, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. It's pretty nuts actually, I can't believe it's awesome. All right guys, so we've been here only a few moments and uh, we already got a, <laughs> already got 220 mil. So let's see if we can't get us a 30 mil because I myself don't have one of those yet. And well, I take that back. I do have a partial 30 mil, a couple of them actually, but they're all pretty eroded. These are, man, these are in not terrible shape. Pretty cool. All right. It's magnet cleaned off. Get back out there. Did a bunch of uh, creek walking videos today and uh, walked about 17 miles. Sorry, not 17 miles, seven miles. <laughs> Seekers. I have it on my thing. It's pretty awesome. A lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. Didn't find a ton of full bottles, but found quite a few areas where I'm sure if I started digging and sifting, I'd find a bunch. Found uh, a clay marble and a 1921 wheat penny. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, we, uh, we're out here. Trying to, trying to find some awesome stuff. 
enjoy the sunset. I'm gonna just kind of get fishing. If you guys have any questions, feel free to. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm having fun. Always having fun, man. Doing all right. I'm just out here magnet fishing today. That's the adventure. And uh, we're at a military dumping ground and old railroad bridge that has been converted into a walking path. And we're just uh, pulling up some loop, baby. on here oh righty heck yeah okay okay some hematite rocks cool and then uh, one more 20 millimeter round that's pretty cool what's up pa how's it going well you're mad fishing just got us a military 20 millimeter training round it's pretty awesome that makes three for the day three pulls three bullets let's go guys let's go oh, wait what was that Hmm. I wasn't sure if this is a cap or something to. Got now. All right, bet. All right, cool. So uh, just texting Danny, see what what's up. He's been uh, going around getting some things done he needed done today. I've been walking around, filming some videos. Got a few videos filmed today. I'm pretty excited for y'all to, to see. Speaking of the dip mobile. All righty. Yeah, sorry. Now I'm, I should be better now. I, I should have a decent signal. I just was getting a call from Danny. He was wondering where I was at. He's finishing up the... Uh, Oh, some of the stuff you need to get done today. Tax season and all. So fun. I just did mine before this trip and it was a real, real pain. <laughs> oh, all right. You got yourself a, a magnet PA. That's awesome. What kind of magnet did you get? I hope it's a Kratos. Ooh, got some on here. Okay, we got a little rod, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Just just a rod and some slag, nothing crazy. There's your nerves. Okay, okay, okay. military rounds already is not bad not bad at all there have been cannonballs caught here by me danny jeff our massive artillery rounds we me and danny even caught a <laughs> the actual barrel that was sawed off of an anti-aircraft gun so that's it's pretty exciting check that video out guys it's on my channel see that but right now we have something for you to see and it is magnet Already, we got oh, just a piece of rebar. Looks like cool. This weird little, I don't know, cap ball thing. Not really sure. And uh, I get a bunch of these, and I've been keeping them because I cleaned one off from last time. We thought they were just punch outs, but then there was like a number on it. So I've been keeping them all now today. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if they amount to anything. All right, guys, in the chat, let me know, what do you like better, the small magnet fishing finds or the small little treasures or the really big ones? Personally, I'm a small treasure guy. I think the smaller ones tend to be more intricate, more detailed. Hey, 
you haven't already, make sure to give that thumbs up. A big old smash. Helps more than you know, guys. We are uh, almost completely full-time here with magnet fishing and treasure hunting, and we have a whole bunch of activities this summer planned. So if you guys have anything, uh, any videos you really like or styles you like to see, let me know. Because we are treasure hunting this summer, let me tell you. Jeffrey Wright, either one is all right with me. You never know, that is true, you never know. Speaking of not knowing, got a couple finds. Hey, let's go! Guys, that's a pretty magnet. Two 30 round anti aircraft rounds <laughs> and a railroad spike. Let's go! Heck yeah. Oh man, this never gets old. It never gets old finding stuff. I swear. I'm with some crusty, crusty ones though. Dang. Give you guys a little bit more. How's it going? on that magnet. Maybe I'm just getting tired. <laughs> oh no, there is actually one thing on this magnet. There's one of these like, I think they're like weights or something. I'm not totally sure what these are guys, but comment down below, but I've been keeping them. Finding a bunch here. They got like these, they have numbers usually on this side. And I'll have, sometimes they'll have something on this if they're bigger. And they come in all different sizes. And I'm not sure if they're little weights or like little measurement tools. I, I just don't know, but Kind of neat. All right. If I was you guys, I'd definitely stay in here because you never know. Every single throw is like a mystery what you could catch. You've got tools, uh, guns, axes, all sorts of wild, wild things. Artillery rounds, cannonballs. You name it. <sighs> Instantly on something, yeah? Heck yeah. It's coming out the mud now. down the path but they saw me uh, out here fishing going live and they just turned around. <laughs> Attack right there into the corner is kind of where uh, a lot of them have been pulled up. That's where I kind of. That's where I've been getting most of my actual cannonballs and some of my larger rounds. Oh. Big shout out to Kratos Magnetics. They just sent me out my new magnet. I got word from the Badger Den that my magnet is waiting and ready to go for me. All right, guys, we have a magnet with some stuff on this time. I can see it. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, where to begin? Let's begin with this. Random piece of, I don't know, metal, <laughs> metal conglomerate. And then we have this thing right here, which I think this actually might be something, but it's got like a coin lodged in here. Do you see that? Or is it a coin or is it a, just a punch out? I don't know. What's up, Citizen Mag 
How's it going? Bad Idea Lab. Welcome, welcome. If you're new to the chat, make sure to drop a like in that like button. Helps more than you know. Right now we're trying to figure out if that's a coin or just a punch out in there or what this little amorphous thing is. Bring this stuff home and stuff will be cleaning it up. And then we got us another anti-aircraft, I believe. Yeah, yeah, another anti-aircraft round. A little 20 mil. Right on, right on. Set that there. A bolt. Mm. One of these little coin or punch outs, I'm not sure, but holding on to them anyways. Uh, whoa, not sure what that is, but it's got like a little bulbous end on it. I don't know. And then, of course, this little punch out up here, another one of these. All right, well, I'll clean this magnet off, I suppose, and uh. Better pattern, we'll get back at her. How's everyone's magnet fishing season been going? Has people been getting out and enjoying themselves? Hope the weather's been good where everyone's at. Ooh, ooh. Sheesh. Gosh, those Kratos. When they slap, they slap. This magnet we have. Oh, cool. Old like fishing weight thing. Another 20 millimeter training around here. Heck yeah. <laughs> that makes another 20 millimeter army round, guys. This is kind of insane. We got what six, seven, eight, nine already. And a little bolt, a little hook thing. And a couple uh, random bits, bobs, and ends. Clean this magnet off. Get back at it. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, oh, man. Kind of like right underneath actually where I am, like directly underneath the bridge, and then about three to five feet out on both sides is where we've been finding the majority of our larger rounds. Like the uh, big, bigger artillery things. Okay. Don't know if I have anything on the magnet other than just some rocks and slag. But, let's see. Mm, nope. I got this little thing. It's shiny. It's fun. Little pipe. Um, oh, any small little relic on here? Nope, that's all she wrote. I'll clean her off, get back at her. Fourteen awesome people in the chat. Thanks for hanging out, guys. It's Badger Exploration. We find things. You enjoy treasure hunting content from magnet fishing to gold prospecting, metal detecting, creek walking, diving. Basically, if there's a way to find things, I'm out here trying to do it. <laughs> oh, here we go. What is that? Looks like a big old heavy piece of metal. Hmm. 
Yep. Just a big old chunk of, of steel. Oh, nice. And, oh, sweet. Another 20 mil. It is corroded as hell. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, so you can see a little cap ring there. Awesome. That makes what? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at nine. Let's go. How many of you guys think we can get today? Comment down below if you guys have a, a number you think we're, we can reach. I think we can get well above 25. That's my goal. 25. I could be crazy. Some have said it before. It is what it is. If you guys have it, make sure to drop a like. We'll be, uh, also, if you guys are interested in doing a meetup, coming out magnet fishing with me, every third week of the month, I am going to be at the Watertown, Wisconsin City Fair and uh, Downtown Boardwalk, what's it called? Farmer's Market, that's it. I will be doing a cleanup during the Farmer's Market the whole time at a special area. We have over 100 feet of frontage in Watertown where we are going to be every third week just teaching people how to magnet fish, hooking them up with Kratos magnets, and giving you guys opportunities to win and purchase some of the merch and different uh, collectible items we found over the years, guys. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited for it. Big shout out to uh, Watertown and the uh, Phototype Laser Tag Company for sponsoring our booth and bringing us out there. Doing an incredible job. We'll have all those links and everything put together here soon. I have a little uh, thing coming up, but... Couple punch outs and a little cap. Nothing crazy on that one. Start moving a little bit down. There we go. Whoa. Got a lot of something on there. Oh, we all got on this way. All right. Bunch of punch outs, guys. Like a ton of circle punch outs. Look at this, it's nuts. And this is just a rock, but it must be loaded with hematite. Nuts, all right, cool. We'll uh, clean this magnet off. And uh, yeah, get her back in the water. like beyond nice out. This almost feels like unreal. I'm so used to just fishing in the Badger State when it's frigid cold or freezing or, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, it was, I mean, beyond cold, raining sleet. You guys were watching on me and Danny's live. We were catching a third of what I'm catching right now, guys. So that's <laughs> pretty funny. Oh, here we go. And again, we have a loaded mag. Ooh, what is on here, guys? It's like some, definitely some artillery rounds. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got a couple on here, just a couple. This one's really nice shape, oh boy. All right, we got this one's in immaculate shape. Look at that one, guys. Oh, that is a nice military dumping round right there. Now this is a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft round. 
I'm pretty excited. This is a really, really nice one. Wow, okay. So that now makes 10, guys. 10 total we found today. All right, we got a little speed of scrap. Another 30, no, sorry, 20 millimeter. That one's a little bit more corroded. Another rock. And I don't know, but it looks like something with a, some, I don't know what this is, but there's a lot of things that are really, really perfectly round that look like coins or buttons or something. So I keep setting them aside thinking maybe they're worth, you know, I don't know, worth cleaning up in the, uh, the acid bath, but. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all she wrote for this, Mag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all the uh, stuff off here and get back in there. Oh, yeah. Just found this literally sitting on the uh, walkway, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is absolutely gorgeous. Welcome, welcome, Mona. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, we are happy fishing. I guess I might as well just show you. There we go. All right, we're on the edge now. Just came up in the last throw, had these two anti-aircraft rounds. So, goal today is maybe like a large art artillery round or a cannonball. nice now is because the last time I was out here everything was still literally ice and snow on the ground so now things aren't frozen down like they were oh heck yeah all right a couple more of these magnetic rocks crazy and we got us 30 mil or 20 mil why do I keep saying 30 mil it's because I want one that's why but this is nuts. all right that is 11 11 now or 12 Nope, 11. <laughs> That's all she wrote for this one. I'm half thinking about throwing my claw on just so I can really rip up some of the, uh, the muck and gunk that's holding me things down. Oh, it came out. I think, I think it did. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. I think something came out. Oh, it's swinging. All right. Mystery items on here. Oh, okay, this is just a hollow pipe. And we got a sweet, sweet looking magnet. We got us another training round, 20 millimeter. Some slag up to wazoo. And another 20 millimeter training round. Any aircraft, heck yeah. Oh, that's right, guys. There was freaking four on here, guys. Holy cow. Here's another one. This one's muddy, but <laughs> and another one. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, this is. <sighs> Yo, we got one. We got a freaking grape shot. Oh, these are. I still get so excited when I see these. What's up, guys? Look at this. Check it out, man. Oh, I gotta find some water somehow. Or oh, I know. <sighs> Let me just clean this magnet off quick. Huh. I am excited.
right. I'm dunk this guy and uh, back in the water here. I can't believe we got one, guys. <laughs> Freaking grape shots. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Definitely a grape shot, guys. Look at that. <laughs> we find things, baby. Like, comment, subscribe, man. T Hobbies, what's up, dude? I do remember. I do remember T Hobbies. Now, this time this year, finding military rounds and tons of them. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just in the last mm, five minutes. And. We got ourselves a grape shot. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, I love finding those. Woo, almost dropped my earbud. Absolutely love finding those grape shots. Oh, it's just shaking. <laughs> What's up, United Movements? How's it going, how's it going? I'm not sure if it's Civil War. I know some are, some are uh, Civil War, some are training rounds, but I know the one cannonballs that we, the two cannonballs we got dated were, they said, in could be in the range of it, but I'll have to get that looked at further. If anyone knows uh, more information regarding, uh, you know, basically documenting or actually giving uh, context to certain finds and historical items, please feel free to message me or hit me up uh, on my direct message or any, any of my socials. And I'd love to learn more. That being said, rip something else out of the. Uh, of the mud here. Oh man, let's go. Let's, oh, it's heavy. No way. Is that what I think it is or am I just tweaking? Am I just excited? I am excited. That's not what I think it is. <laughs> I thought this rock was a big cannonball, but we do have <laughs> a bunch of really cool stuff on this magnet. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. That's just a big old rock of metal, but we do have another 20 millimeter round. Hell yeah. Another 20 millimeter round. Ooh, like picking, picking up candy. That's what it's like, let me tell you. Like candy. Mm. I'll punch out. And uh, a little punch out cap thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Clean that off. Get going. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I was, what do we got? Oh uh, yeah, I believe it's late by you. Thanks for tuning in. I'm, I'm glad to have you on, brother. We're out here finding military rounds. I just got done finding a grape shot cannonball. Heck yeah. I know there's full size to medium to everything here, so every throw is a possibility for some serious treasure, guys. Some serious treasure. Today, nope, I'm not with anyone today. Today, it's just the Badger, me, myself, and I, and all you lovely people. 14 awesome people in the live. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to drop that like button or hit that like button, smash it, whatever. You know what I mean. Pretend I said the words I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, here we go. Oh, what do we got on this? We got... Bunch of punch outs, big old circle. I don't know, it's interesting. Got a little, little weird roundy piece or just maybe an amorphous piece of metal probably. And yeah, guys, I think that is all she wrote on this one. All right, okay. So story time, the very first day of our great loop trip, because I've been on the road now for two weeks and, or no, a week and a half, my apologies. First day out, we are in Marinette, Wisconsin, and we are at a boat landing. So nowhere, you know, sketchy. I am sitting, walking around this bank 
collecting a bunch of really old uh, just bottles and some buttons and some really old stuff that was just laying in the creek there. And once you know it, I, I walked maybe eight feet away from my bucket and this car kind of pulls up and I look at it and I don't think anything of it and I go back to what I'm doing. I'm like visibly within 10 feet of my bucket. I turn around, next thing I know, I hear a shuffle and then a slam of the car door and the guy turns his head, runs in and gets in his car. And I look back, I'm looking everywhere, I can't find my bucket, can't find my bucket. Well, luckily the way this is like set up is the, there's one way in and there's one way out. So there's no way you can actually like just zip it right around. So he had to go past me no matter what. And, uh, oh, here we go, guys. Oh, this is interesting. We got a piece with some like texture on it. It's kind of neat. Ooh, little electrical thing. Another military round, guys. Frick yeah, heck yeah. And another, some punch outs and schlag. That's all she got for there. But yeah, so basically then I am, uh, you know, aware that I think this guy took my magnet, right? Or not, not just my magnet, my tools, my Yeti bucket, which has all of my gear. And at that time it already had some really cool finds in it. And so I run across the little pond to the other side where it's only one way out. And I wait for them to come up, pulls this car. I stop them and I'm like, hey, have, did you see a bucket somewhere? I've been walking here. I was right here. And actually, I know it's gone. And the only car I saw was yours. Do you know what um, I'm talking about here? And he was like, um, uh, and then I look in the back seat of his car. Wouldn't you know, there's my bucket sitting. And I go, just, so you know, I can see it. And he goes, oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah. Let me just grab it. And I'm like, the dude was in his like, I don't know, fifties or sixties. I'm like, bro, oh, I was, I was like, this is the first day of the trip. Oh, but anyways. Thankfully, I got my bucket back. So that was probably the craziest interaction as far as me almost losing, like genuinely losing my shit. So I didn't, yay. Oh, hello, Alaskans on the fly, welcome, welcome. Well, Matt, it was the Kratos 360, yeah, the Titan. And my 10.5 millimeter black rope the 60 foot, 65, plus it had my, what is it? My waterproof uh, pinpointer under like a uh, millitectin pinpointer, had a bunch of my marbles and a little grape shot that I'd found over there at the time. Ooh, but this magnet's got, ooh, finally a cleaner magnet. Yeah, but we still got a 20 millimeter. Any aircraft round. Add that to the ever-growing pile. And some bolts. But yeah, so... Today is kind of, you know, <laughs> one of the better magnet fishing days, honestly, I've had on the trip. But it's uh, kind of was just like a relaxing day to kind of hang out, go live, chill. Ended up getting a bunch of video content today that I wasn't expecting. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I, uh, I was pretty nervous there. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, what else? There's a lot of stuff's happened in these last five days. I'm trying to think what was the other crazy thing that happened to us? Ooh, just pulled that out the mud. Ooh. Pulling that one out of the mud was a juicy feeling. <laughs> Oh, it's sloppy. Heck yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. We got one, two. Yeah, we got two for sure. Oh, heck yeah, guys. Two anti-aircraft rounds, 20 mils. Yeah, right? I know, people do suck. And thank God I was able to get it back. He tried to make it out after I like basically told him like I see my mag or I see my book I see my stuff, you know I like because I didn't actually see him put it in per se but I had like he was the only one around and the car door shut and my stuff was gone, and then he tried saying to me that like oh I just thought someone had left their stuff there I thought it was so weird and I went to him I was like well that doesn't make any sense I was right next to it he goes I didn't see anyone I'm like Pfft. did you not see anyone or did you not want to see anyone whole time his poor wife sitting there just shaking her head saying sorry, like mouthing it. Uh. 
Uh, big shout out to Michigan Gems. We just hung out with them in uh, Lansing, actually, and went magnet fishing. I caught three buck knives, so if you want to see that, that's going to that video will be coming out shortly. Next uh, next couple weeks here. Wow, and instantly pulled out something right out of the mud. But let me tell you guys, this is a muddy freaking. Oh, some mucky stuff. Dip it off here. Oh yeah. Is it a? Oh, another 20 mil. Thought it might be a 30, but it is another 20 millimeter on that bag. Let's go. So, I have another story for you guys regarding the, uh... oh geez, I just blanked on it. What, what was it? From my trip. Oh. What, 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 what? Oh. I'll remember it when it comes back to me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So we're fishing in Flint. And there was this, what is it? I just, I just did pull up a knife and there's like five, six people surrounding me, chatting with me as I magnet fish. And uh, next thing I know, I go to throw my magnet and I have to stop myself and pull it down and, and, and just stop the throw altogether because there's some dude just snuck up into my space and he's kayaking. Ooh, two more artillery rounds, guys. Heck yeah, we got one. Or no, sorry. Not two more, just one more. My apologies. Yeah. Heck yeah. Still, I'll take one over none. But um, basically, we're, this dude just shows up as we're magnet fishing and clearly looks, oh wow, an old little button. That's cool. Clearly is like beyond inebriated. Like, like not just drunk, but on something. And I, I see him starting to drift over to the bank that's opposite of us. And there's no access really to the bank. You'll see in the video, but because of that, he was trying to like get onto the bank. I think he had to throw up or he was just sick or what. He wanted to take a nap. He ended up falling asleep, like slumped over like this. Once he did get out, he gets out of his kayak, the kayak flips on its side. He falls head first into a pillar and boom, and he's still conscious. <laughs> and basically we tried to help him a dozen times. And then finally the police came, they tried to help him. And the dude scrambles into his kayak, assembling whatever sobriety he had in his system to escape the police and you see him and the cops are like hey come back here sir sir and he's like no i'm fine and he kayaks off and i mean i kid you not guys it is like something out of a comedy i i mean the guy ended up by the way i'll precursor all this he is safe he's healthy he's fine the police got him just literally the, the police boat pulled up no more than 200 300 yards down the river there was nowhere for this guy to go he just and he was going wherever he was going slowly Oh, but long story short, he is safe. And that was one of the cra craziest uh, kind of like police chases, I guess, if you want to call it. I've seen it in a long time. There is never a dull moment when magnet fishing. Let me tell you. Really, there's never a dull moment when treasure hunting, so. We find things. On there coming up to some 43 minutes heck yeah got 13 awesome people if you haven't already guys drop that like hit that like button helps a bunch and uh make sure to subscribe if you haven't already but i got something else on this magnet to show y'all see what we have we have bolt and washer and another real road spike let's go did you really go magnet fishing if you didn't catch at least one of these? What's up, Wallace? Yeah, honestly. Alaskan on the fly. Scandalous. Honestly, right? He is a scandalous old dude. Oh, speaking of Alaska, man. Alaska's somewhere I gotta go real soon. I've been plotting all different locations for gold prospecting, 
And I want to go search uh, in some of those abandoned mines. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go, guys. Quartz just dangling on in the bottom. Hoo-wee. Big ol' 20 millimeter. Any aircraft, the hollow kind. Heck yeah. And we got another one that makes two on this magnet. Three. <laughs> and let's see, anything else? A bunch of punch outs, some metal cuts, cutouts. Hmm. Oh, I see. What is this? It's like an, oh guys, it's like a pressure valve, like a, uh, like a, like a tank. Like this would be a little meter there would be inside where this glass was. I think, but this looks like a pressure, pressure reader, pressure gauge. Dang, guys. All right, let's see what's, <laughs> we're really starting to reveal some cool stuff the deeper we get into that muck. Love finders, keepers. How's it going? We're out here magnet fishing. Oh, we're magnet fishing these military artillery rounds and that juicy little round guy there. That's a grape shot cannonball, baby. Woo -wee. That's what we be up to. All that sun feels nice. Got about like two and a half hours, an hour, I think, maybe. I don't know. Does anyone have a time check for Central Standard Time? Oh, never mind. I can actually just look at my boot thing. Oh, 6.52. Sweet. All right, guys. We are good. We got, we can get started around 8. 8.15, something like that. Got some weight on this one. Ooh, we got a couple things. So we got, I don't know what this is, but it's some type of concave little, I don't know, set aside. Another 20 millimeter anti-aircraft round, heck yeah. Another one of these little strange, I don't know, little ball things. I keep keeping it in case it's something, like a little, I don't know, musket ball, who knows. They haven't been a musket ball yet, so I'll let you know if they ever do become one. <laughs> and that's all she wrote on this one. Oh, it's 452? Oh, Pacific Sands. Okay. So gorgeous out. We got 19 awesome people in the chat. Let's see if we can't pull up some more military uh, rounds for you guys. And by this pull, I think we're gonna have, well, we're bringing something up. And every single time there's, I mean, there's probably been less times without a round on it today than uh, with it. So you never know. You might be here when we get the big one. Cut on this one, guys. I see some artillery rounds. Pretty sure. Wash her off. Give her a little bath.
Alrighty, let's first off get all this mud that don't need to be here off. Ugh. Grody. We got us 20 millimeter artillery round right there. Some type of ratchet strapping piece, I think, or something that you like roll and scratch over. That's kind of neat. And we got punch outs and a bunch of just bolts and a randomized metal. Heck yeah, guys. Fifty-two and cloudy. Dang. Yeah, it sounds more like my entire. I don't know. Whew. Sounds like our entire. I don't know. Probably our entirely nicest day would have been that, on uh, the first first leg of our trip. The entirety of the UP was blustering, forty, or thirty-five to forty mile per hour winds, sleet and rain, and cold as the dickens. Luckily, got another load of magnets. Make me forget all about those. Whoa, is this a... This pipe has a bunch of little holes in it, and at first I thought it was a flute. Like, I don't know, that'd be cool. Catch a little, a little military drum flute, I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, probably just a pipe with a hole in it. Ooh, what do we got here? One, two, and three. Oh, whoa, pulled the cap off that one. One, two, three, military. 20, 20 military rounds. Heck yeah, guys. We have reached uh, well over our 25, or whatever our goal was of 25, 30. Let's see, we can't get to 50 now. Heck yeah. <sighs> I am currently going to be fishing here till Senior Beans comes to collect me my buddy steven You've seen him on my videos and if you watch danny's as well you'll have seen him on there hopefully he makes it uh gets done with his job he had uh i actually wasn't supposed to be fishing right now to be honest i was supposed to be with beans actually but he said he had to work longer so he took this opportunity to find me some loot all right let's get at it badgers Got a mag in the water. Mm -mm -mm. I think after this, uh, I'm going to be throwing on the first time catching you live. What's up? Hello, hello, final kill cam man. Welcome, welcome. You caught us on a good live. We've caught over 28, 27 now. Anti-aircraft military dumping rounds. And you're about to hopefully see a few more. All I know is this magnet's got a lot of gunk on it. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. <sighs> oh, yeah. All righty, guys. We got another 20 millimeter anti-aircraft round from the military dumping ground. Heck, yeah. Some type of... Oh, that's interesting. A little, like, bracket piece. I love the pieces that you can start to identify a little. Another 20 millimeter anti-aircraft round. That makes two in this magnet, a hole, three, and this one's in good shape, I can tell. The brass is even cleaning up already from the mud. And we have, no way, is this? Yes, guys, 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 guys. I think we have a, oh no, I don't know. Is it a, nope, it's a, it's a nut, it's a nut. I thought it was a, a... shoot, it's one of those nuts that like has the round top. Thought it was another freaking, <laughs> oh gosh, I thought it was another, uh, what should we call her? cannonball or a grape shot all right there is seems to be just a bunch of oh geez there is one hiding in here all right guys there's five on that let's go well i appreciate it dennis i'm glad to hear you're having some beautiful weather there and i'm glad it amazes you because some days like this trip uh we we felt like we barely couldn't even pull anything out of the water so that uh it's a uh, good sounds good thank you i appreciate it we've uh we definitely throw a lot like i mean we have volume 
plus I, I fished Madison before and honestly it was it was not not great I mean I couldn't find a good place to actually fish from maybe if you got like in a boat you could have access of the whole entirety maybe maybe then I mean there's definitely stuff there don't get me wrong I just I just haven't found out how to get it <laughs> Gosh, I am dirty. It is getting quite wet indeed. Or not wet, but what do you call it? Muddy, I guess? I don't know. Definitely getting towards the, uh, the part of the day where I'm like, geez, why are those so dirty? What state? Ohio. We are currently in Ohio. I was in Michigan, Michigan last night, and earlier today was in Indiana now. Because Danny's vans broke down, I got a ride out to Ohio where I'm fishing the dumping grounds for military craziness. All right, here we go. What is this? Oh. oh, big old magnet, guys. We got, all right, I don't even know what that is. Some type of... Some type of electrical thing, I think. I don't know, it's really, really money. Yeesh. One military, one round. Punch out. And the rest is mud gunk and schlag. Clean it off and get back at it. Oh, that's muddy. It is nice. But I will be going to Nashville for the Magnet Fishing Meetup. I will be joined with me and my new girlfriend will be arriving. Danny Dip and his girlfriend will be there, along with Outdoor Influencer and his will be arriving, and we're all going to be uh, staying, in a, staying and coming together. So we will definitely be at the Nashville Meetup next month. Super, super excited. You guys should be excited for what I'm about to pull up over this bridge. Where knows I am? Oh! Well, the rest is like slag, I think, but and metal scrap, maybe? Let's see. Wow, guys, I kid you not. This is, oh no, it almost was. There's a time, there's one of the little bullets in here. Okay, it was almost the first, like first magnet, I think in the last 20 minutes. It didn't have some type of artillery round or something that gets fired at someone. Cool, all right. Can't wait to get at home and edit all this stuff. Yeah, that's new girlfriend. So Anastasia, actually, uh, if you guys knew the time when, uh, for those of you who are not new the, or who are newer to the channel, and this won't make any sense, so forgive me, just ignore this part. But uh, Miss Honey Badgers, we'll call her, ended up just kind of disappearing one day. So now I'm on my own and it's all right because all things happen for a reason. I'm in a better, better scenario now to find and create awesome content and show you guys this freaking, ah, these are, oh, this is a really nice one too. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Oh, this magnet's looking fire. Okay. We got another little bracket piece and then this little. It's like a coupling of some sorts. I'm gonna hold on to this just because it's a little bit lighter than I think it should be. And there's like some texturized thing there. So, curious. Clean it up. 
see what it uh, ends up eating. And the rest is just scrap. Sweet. Small stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys. One, two, three bolts there. A washer. And ha, there it is. I knew it had to be on here. There's no way it couldn't be at least one 20 millimeter <laughs> anti aircraft round. This is crazy, guys. Absolutely nuts. We have been fishing this for military rounds for, I mean, months since Danny found it way, way back when. So, <laughs> damn. That is true, Dennis. Or De Dennis, Denise, Denise, my apologies. Shadow Wolf, act, uh, go to the other side of the bridge. Yeah, yeah, I will be going to the other side of the bridge. Oh, Grandma, what's up? My grandma's watching. Everybody say hi to Grandma Badger. She is hanging out tonight. What's up? Thanks for letting me know, Mom. I'm finding a ton. Holy crap. Well, since Grandma's on, I was going to be closing up here soon, but y'all are in, in for a treat now. Now I'm going until I can't go no more. Ooh -wee. Oh. All right, Grandma, let's see if we can't put a show. Wow. Well, Grandma, you shouldn't have told me you were on here. It's the first magnet I found, uh, like, nothing but slack. <laughs> anyway. Let's find it, baby. Find it! Mm. <laughs> Mona, Mona. Mona says hi, Grandma. She might not be able to read the uh, chat, uh, live chat. So if you guys say anything, I will I'll just let her know out loud. But, whoo -wee. Yeah, I, uh, you know what? I will try the other side of the bridge. Oh, gosh, it's hard to try the other side of the bridge when you find every throw is something like this. Holy cow. Oh, okay, all right, all right. All right. Ooh okay. We got one, two, 20 millimeter military dumping ground, anti-aircraft rounds. Again on this magnet, that is nuts. Absolutely nuts, guys. Like All right, let's go to the other side. GMAS says hi, Mona. Right now, we're gonna go try the other side. The other side is where I caught my larger uh, cannonball, my four pound one, I believe, actually. Okay. Here, I'll show you. This is what we've caught just in the last 45 or 40 minutes, I'd say. And this. Was a few of the stuff we caught in the first 10, 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it was. <laughs> They're pretty dang cool. Gotta get out there, man. Get at it. This location's pretty far away. We're in Ohio, so, you know, there's that. But also the fact that we're just, just a couple, actually trying from this way. So that way I can throw it better for you guys. One of my favorite things about this location though guys is the fact that it's so secluded. I actually can like 
freely do stuff and feel a little safer instead of always kind of worried about, you know, where exactly I am, who's gonna be popping up on me. Cause it's the, the difference between being able to magnet fish and relax and enjoy it. And then having to magnet fish or trader hunt and having to actually like worry about your safety is a very, very different experience. <sighs> very. This is like relaxing, unwinding, bliss. This is like my therapy where, you know, when we're sometimes in these dangerous cities trying to find guns or, you know, anything really, really crazy that's just in a location that's extremely high crime. We're always a little bit more just, oh, on edge. This rural spot here, oh yeah. That's, this is where it's at, for sure. Feeling a bunch of stuff in that mud, but now we gotta move a lot of mud. Oh, well, it's not true at all, I'd say. I'd say you'd have a pretty good shot in Maine, too. There's a lot of, it's on the East Coast, a lot of military bases. All right, guys, we definitely have something on the bottom of the magnet. I can't see it, but it's heavy. Oh, wait, no way. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, not cool, but I would have liked it to be, but all right. I'm not sure where that is, but we got like, huh, some type of like, driving shaft, some type of motorized. I don't know, that's interesting. Not really sure. Bunch of slag and yeah, that's all she wrote. Oh, actually, I guess there's a little fishing lure right there. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, if you haven't already and you don't subscribe, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. It helps more than you know and allows me to keep out getting out here and finding and sharing these incredible adventures with you. That being said, guys, we have a bunch a bunch of diving, creek walking, and bottle digging videos ready to go and planned out for this summer. It's kind of going to be the big mission, honestly. We'll be definitely magnet fishing a ton. But my main thing I'm gonna be doing when I have full days off, I'm gonna be sending it to locations to dig for really, really old relics, bottles, and you name it, you know? It just seems to be where I'm getting excited, you know? Gotta follow that stoke. Speaking of stoke, some loot on the end of my magnet. Alrighty. Oh, yes, finally. I wanted to show you guys one of these. Thought we might have fished all these out. So maybe someone here in the chat will know what this is. We find a bunch of these and we think it, these were labels. My idea was it was a label put on side of the wood boxes that they dumped all these military rounds in. And uh, yeah, it's like this little red with white lettering. If you guys do know what there are, or if it's from that, let me know down below. But, oh, worry, we have another military 20 millimeter artillery shell, of course. And another magnetic rock and schlag. We'll clean this magnet off and get at it. Oh, never mind. It's just a spring. I thought I had something really cool. Never mind. <laughs> Sirens. Ooh, hopefully no one's hurt. This is definitely a good move. All right. Shadow Wolf thinks this side was the move. I definitely think it will be, no matter what, right where I am either side is the dumping ground where there has been just insane amounts of, of just ordinances, like legitimate rounds of death. So it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Ooh, got a big old circle on me. Ooh, interesting. Circle gang, let's go. Ugh. What did I pinch in here? It looks like a gas cap. All right, cool. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh, I have such a long walk home if frickin' uh, beans doesn't show up. I'm like, 
a, a minute, quite a, like a hot minute from my uh, lodging tonight. And I have to walk with a wagon loaded up with all these epic treasures. So I don't think the badger will be getting uh, fat anytime soon. <sighs> Last time we were out here, Danny found an uh, axe, which was super cool. I love tools. It's an old tiny license plate, really? Man, we have buckets and buckets of those. It's strange. So many were dumped here. Okay, got something heavy and oblong shaped or something. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. Oh. Right. That's a solid just chunk of steel. I kid you not. Oh. All right. Yeah, this is a great idea. This side was awesome. What a good idea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, trying to tire me out, aren't you? Okay, well, a bunch of slag. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Better take this off before it rips me again. It is currently. 717 guys so at 7:30, i'm gonna be calling it and start cleaning up for the day because like i said i gotta still get back i'm back in the woods away i don't want to stay in here all night <laughs> well kind of do Ooh -wee. what we got here guys we have some type of metal sticks what we have one, <laughs> it's 20 millimeter round. Two 20 millimeter rounds on that magnet. All right, sweet. And that's all she wrote for that one. We'll get her back out here and uh, get at it. Yeah, tons of luck. Just so much luck. I mean, we've been finding so many artillery rounds and once it, we get here to 7.30 before I log off, I'm gonna take the gloves off, chat for a quick second, say goodbye and show everyone all the finds from today. So don't worry, if you guys do wanna see everything found on the live today, just make sure to stay in the live till 7.30, Central Standard Time. So you guys got about like what, 12 minutes? Like that? Maybe 13? See how many pulls I can get up in that time. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. We, uh, we got a full trailer of scrap and I actually found on the bank today about mm, almost 30 pounds of straight, clean, no coating on it, copper wire. It is awesome. So yeah, I definitely will be getting some beer. <laughs> But as far as all these military rounds go, there's no way in hell I'm scrapping those. Them are historical ordnance history. They go for a lot of money, baby, once they cleaned up. Them collectible, you can't get those. You can only find those. And now, because we found them, some of you will be able to purchase them down the road this summer, starting in June. So, exciting. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Now this. <laughs> yeah, now this is the kind of magnets I like to see. <laughs> That's a magnet for a live stream right there, guys. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, guys, that's like the big, big, big one. I love that. Three. Military 20 millimeter anti aircraft rounds and two more railroad spikes. <laughs> Let's go! Heck yeah! 
Heck freaking yeah. We find things, baby. <sighs> All right, let's get back in there. We got 10 more minutes. So I got to show you everything I found for the day. Ooh, there we go. It was literally where I'm standing, but in a kayak straight down, I caught this. My cannonball. So this could be exciting, guys. Oh, wait. Heck yeah. All right, we got another one of these license plates. One, two, three. I guess three. Another one. Oh, four, four. Heck yeah. One, two, three, four on one magnet, guys. One magnet. Let's freaking go. Oh, man, we find things. woo -wee. Haven't already, guys? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps immensely, more than you possibly know, and it allows me to keep doing this stuff more and more, working towards full-time. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of junk to carry out of the woods today. There we go. Got a steak. Alrighty, a steak and another 20 millimeter and air grip round. Woo! Dang, y'all are gonna have some cool lookings for after. What is that? We had contact, bro. I would tell you the address of my old road in the creek it has so much, I mean, so much scrap, you wouldn't believe. Oh man, that sounds very interesting. When we had contact, bro. Mississippi, eh? Ooh, sounds interesting. I wanted, that's kind of my routes now. I'm done going east. Done going east for a long time. It's time to go west. West and southwest. I ain't going south though. I ain't, I'm done south. I'm trying to hit Mississippi for sure. Tennessee, Nashville, of course. And then I'm trying to go out of Minnesota and really kind of Work the Mississippi. I uh, spent my first two years fishing Central America and the East Coast. So, yeah. Ooh, this one's a good old magnet. Right, a little that. And another one. Yeah, another any two anti aircraft rounds. Heck yeah. Sweet, and we got, this is interesting, got like a, I don't know what this is, it's like a little ball maybe? I don't think, oh, sorry, three anti-aircraft rounds, nice, three of them, let's go, heck yeah. Well, if you do want to private message me, if anyone has a spot or location, and if you do want to tag along, no problem, I'd love to go out with you. Hit me up if you are uh, got a location that you think needs to be magnified. And uh, let's go hit it. Actually, I'm putting my scrap on there. All righty. Oh, heck yeah, 724, man, we still got time. We got lots of time, which means we got tons of time to get to 10 likes at least, guys. We're only at eight likes, come on. How many military rounds I gotta find for y'all? If you haven't already, guys, make sure to hit that like button. It really, really helps. And the more times you hit that like button, the more times I can find epic, cool magnets loaded with military rounds. One, two, baby, let's go. Oh, and a big old punch out. Anything else? Bottle cap. All right, guys, bottle cap game. What do you think it is? Anyone? Anyone at all? I like the bottle cap game. Every time I ask, some people are really into it, and then other people are like, I don't give it. <laughs> so who knows? 
All right. Get in there, Magnet. This is one of those spots where I feel like when I just huck it straight down, it pile drives it into that muck. It lets me kind of plow and drive through it. Clicking up everything. Because that, that's why this spot's so good. If there's, I mean... It just goes deep, 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 deep. It's like an onion, man. Layers. Layer down there like an onion. Let's see what's on this layer. Oh. All right, we got a little rod. And another anti-aircraft round. Let's go, let's go, okay. Dang, guys, we were getting a lot of anti-aircraft rounds today. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Hit the three dots on your screen and uh, then hit the, the thumbs up for people who don't know. The three dots on my screen? Oh, I get you. Three dots? Oh wait, I don't have that. Do I? Oh well, I, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. We got magnifish to do. For the next time I will learn that. I am uh, getting new to the new, uh, this way of doing lives. I've been doing lives a long time, but I've been doing them all on my, at home on my computer and my setup with uh, StreamYard and all that. But now that I'm on the go way more, and I think you guys enjoy kind of coming out with me in the moment. It's a bit more, uh, I don't know, it's a bit more fun. Hang out and chat with y'all. It's definitely less lonely for me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, what do we got on here? Definitely some anti-aircraft rounds. We got one for sure. Heck yeah. Anti-aircraft round. And two anti-aircraft rounds. Woo wee. And a railroad spike. Heck yeah. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. We got probably time for, let's do it. Two more throws, all right? Two more throws. That's what we're doing, two more. Anthony, find me something great. Wee, that was a good magnet. Felt good, you know? Like, it's like when you hit a home run or you make perfect contact with a golf ball drive. There we go. Just dragging and tagging. Okay. Big old sums on here, guys. Hopefully there's sums cool and not just big old sums. <laughs> oh. Okay. Got some type of electrical paneling thing. That's kind of neat, I guess. And no idea what this is, but it's kind of a neat rock, but somehow it's magnetic. Big old disc and a bolt. All right, not, not the greatest. It's all right though. It's all right. There's still one more throw guys. One more throw. Don't worry. Don't worry. <sighs> I always like to check those magnets. For uh, you never know, guys. You never know if there's gonna be just something. The one time you don't look, that's the time you miss the the cow trot that's on here. Oh yeah. And the last throw of the day has begun. So I gotta clean up this bridge. Gotta clean up all my gear. And I still gotta see where Steven is. Ooh. Definitely a heavy magnet. What do we got on here, guys? Oh, big old angle bracket. And triple threat. One, two, three. Anti-aircraft 20 millimeter rounds, guys. Oh man, and then just a bunch of slag and mud I gotta clean up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I'm gonna go around, actually show you guys everything and read some of these comments that I missed. Cause uh, I only got about oh, 35, 40 minutes of light left. So 
All right. You should also use a mesh bag over your magnet to keep it from being filthy. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. That mesh bag will get destroyed uh, right away, like instantly probably from all the junk we find. But I'm not worried about it. My magnets, Kratos magnet. Kratos magnets are the best in the world. Kratos magnets don't, don't get destroyed, really. I mean, I've been using that same magnet for, I kid you not, guys, two, yeah, two years now almost. Almost two years, like a year and a half for sure. Now, with that being said, let's show you guys all the stuff. <laughs> Start off here. Here's some of the first artillery rounds we found. Some of the varying little bits, bobs, and ends. Things I'll clean up, see what they are. Some of these little weights and a fishing lure. We got this beautiful little, some of those little things up there I gotta grab. Got some of the bits, bobs, and ends here. Little odd pieces, this coupling piece with some brass that popped on. And here's this pile of all of these artillery rounds. Couple uh, railroad spikes, little little uh, little caps of the artillery rounds. And today's big, big awesome winning find. My third grape shot find. This is the third Grape Shack Cannonball I found on this trip, but it's the only one I found here at the military dumping ground, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, zip tie, when you're done, just remove the zip tie and pull the, oh, actually not terrible. Hmm. Connect me, uh, how would we connect you? Do you mean like get in touch with me? If you wanna get in touch with me, feel free to message me on Instagram or Facebook, uh, Messenger, Badger Exploration, same thing you see here, guys. Linked in my YouTube bio as well. But then uh, here are, more anti-aircraft rounds, railroad spikes. I mean, <laughs> you, you can see for yourselves, guys. It's been, uh, it's been quite, the, quite the day. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We're rounding up here to like 87, almost 90 minutes. It's like a full soccer match. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out. If you guys do enjoy these, which I feel like you do, I'm going to make sure I keep doing them, keep bringing you out here on the adventure with me. This is... It's a good haul. It's a good haul. All right, guys. It's a badger exploration. <laughs> we find things. Have a great one, everybody.